Hey guys, welcome to another episode of The Clueless Drinker. Now, I'm absolutely boiling in this. It's freezing outside, I've only just really got back in from a little bit of a beer haul. And boy, I'm sweating my arse off. I thought I would shoot a beer review. And by the time you're watching this beer review, um, I will have recorded a few live reviews. So, um, yeah, I've got a few nice looking beers to try. Um, I didn't actually re re record this video um, a couple of minutes ago because I hadn't made up my mind which beer I wanted to start with. But it made sense that I go with the heavier sort of style. Not necessarily in terms of ABV because it is quite low. But, you know, like heavier body, heavier flavour, hopefully a lot richer. And uh, yeah, just come back from Beretta. Absolutely love that shop. Even though every time I go there, I get a little bit upset because there's some really wonderful stuff that is a tiny bit out of my price range. Picked up a bit of swag, some postcards for um, Hopper. Hopper Broy, which is a brewery that I've never tried. I only heard of her when I first saw these beers when I went to the Steamworks tasting a few weeks ago. So, um, yeah, I'm going to look into those, maybe get in touch with them, because I'm a cheeky bastard. Picked up some other guff um, about, like, events and that sort of thing, and an interesting leaflet about beer in Bayern, but unfortunately it's in Augsburg, which it's not necessarily far away, but, you know, it's not exactly I can get there on bicycle. Picked up three things, um, but I already had two things here in the house, so I'll quickly show you those. Uh, one that I won't be drinking tonight, because... I learned a valuable lesson last night because I drank three of these beers or beers from this brewery and I should know better because it's a beer style that in its genetic makeup just does not sit right in my stomach and uh, yeah I'm not gonna lie I was on the toilet quite a lot this morning. Schneiderweiss's Tap Sieben Unser Original which I will be reviewing at some point but I'm staying clear from uh, Vice Beers for a little while. Some of the beers that I did get from the uh, Vice Beer Probe, I did intend on reviewing. But there are a few of them where I'm not going to waste my money and pick up the beers again to review because I wasn't a fan of the Blonder Weissen. Um, and I can't remember which other ones I got in there, but you might have seen the video by now. The other beer that I had in the house was one from Riedenberger, a brewery that I've not drank one of their beers for a hell of a long time. So I saw this, and I love Fest beers. Um, I love those celebratory, slightly gimmicky beers. Um, so I'm guessing this is going to be an Amber Lager, Mertzen sort of thing. Uh, coming in at 5.5%, and uh, yeah, it's got Santa holding a beer. So I'm probably going to save that for when I can cleanse the palate, because I'm a pussy. When I went to uh, Beretta, picked up a couple of beers. Uh, another Riederberger beer, and that is the uh, 28 Porter coming in at 6.9%. A beer that I've only drank once before at the Regensburg Craft Beer Festival. And yeah, I wasn't that big of a fan, uh, mainly because at the time, uh, Stout's Porter's... They weren't necessarily a beer style that I gravitated towards. I've come a long way since then, and it's a beer style that I'm really starting to appreciate. So, um, yeah, looking forward to revisiting that and getting that reviewed. A beer that I purely bought because of the label, and uh, I just love it. It's Die Dunkle from Tillmann Beer, or Tillmann's Beer, uh, another German brewery. Uh, the Braumeister is Tillmann Ludwig, and uh, yeah... 5%, um, I guess it's just a, you know, a typical Dunkel beer, or Dunkler beer. So I'm yeah, very excited to check that one out. And uh, yeah, I just absolutely love the artwork. And the artwork for all of these beers that I saw in the shop, really, really nice. So yeah, there's that one. And the beer that I'm reviewing today, finally getting around to it, it's Camba Bavaria. And this is their Dry Stout which is clocking in at 4.5%. What have we got in that? Ingredients, water, dark barley, malts, hops, top fermenting yeast. And uh, yeah, drink this at plus 12 degrees. I'm not chilling any of these beers. Maybe the Fest beer and the Dunklers, I don't know. But uh, yeah, it's a cocktail of coffee, uh, roast, castanian, 
not sure what that is, and Chocolada chocolate, so um, yeah, sounds pretty damn good. Sounds like it's going to warm me up. And uh, yeah, absolutely gorgeous artwork once again from Canva Bavaria. Really, really nice and simple. I love the how vibrant and deep the colours can be on the labels. And uh, yeah, there's the Canva top. Let's get this beer opened and poured. Nice bit of smoke there. Using my new Schneider Weisser glass. I've been abusing this glass recently and I probably will do for a lot of my beer reviews. So yeah, let's pour the beer in. And that is pouring really nice and dark. That is such a dark head already. Uh, I'm just going to pour it all. Well, I'll save a little bit in the bottom. Straight away, that to me pretty much looks like dark coffee. Uh, it's not, you know, jet black. But it is it is dark, very, very dark brown. Really dark head, which has just fizzled away completely. And um, yeah, that looks really nice. Some really almost like alcohol lacing around the sides there. Um, but yeah, anyway. Let's give it a sniff. Not really getting too much from the sniff, to be honest. I'm getting a strong roasted malt, like raisins that have been soaking in rum overnight. Getting slight hints of like a coffee there, but not too strong. Obviously nowhere near as strong as the coffee porter, which you got a real nice rich coffee sniff. Definitely smells bitter. It smells pretty strong. But it's not, I don't know, it's hard to describe. You can't really pick out too many things. Uh, so that could be a really good thing or a bad thing, depending on what you want. So anyway, sniff. Slightly disappointed, not going to lie, because they're usually really nice on the sniff. And, uh, oh god, that almost pouring like a chocolate milkshake. I'm not too sure if this is bottle conditioned or not. I'm not really seeing, yeah, I'm seeing slight things at the bottom, but I'm not too sure. So um, yeah, beer has not changed at all. Let's give another sniff. No, you're still getting those malty rum raisin sort of vibes. Really nothing else to it. Let's give it a taste. Cheers. Yeah, that smoky malt character right up there on the first taste get a really strong bitterness throughout but not really picking up anything else getting like dark fruits dark dried fruits that sort of thing um coffee it's a quite a faint espresso sort of flavor you're getting the bitterness that you'd get from a you know an espresso but you're not really getting the flavor to it it's a lot more woody. Yeah, I'm getting like almost like oaky sort of flavours in there, or what I would imagine oak to taste like. Mouthfeel. It's actually quite light on the mouthfeel, to be honest. Not what I was expecting at all with this beer. And I've got to say, ever so slightly disappointed. I mean, it's a high quality beer, but there's really not much going on at all. Um, it's not really too drinkable either. You're really going to take your time with this. Uh, I think this would be great accompanying a really rich, indulgent meal. Uh, or it could counterbalance something nice, refreshing, like a nice um, tart dessert or something like that. I think it accompany it perfectly. Uh, you could almost make like an ice cream float or have this with ice cream. Maybe if it's a bit more thicker, it would work better. But um, it's a high quality beer, don't get me wrong. But it's got to be the weakest of the Camber Bavaria beers that I've tried. All in all, just really quite underwhelming in all respects. I mean, it looks fantastic. It was pouring really nice. It looks nice and rich and indulgent. But um, yeah, sniff underwhelming, taste underwhelming. The resting bitterness, I don't know, it's not really nice. So um, yeah, I think I'm going to give this one a uh, 6.5 out of 10. Mainly because I'm just really quite underwhelmed by the beer as a whole. Uh, some people might really like this. Um, it's bitter, 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 bitter. Strong bitterness. 
but there's really not too much flavour there. Um, I mean, it's warming me up really nicely. I mean, it was warm anyway because it's boiling in the apartment. But um, yeah, it works after coming in from the cold. But as a beer to sit, savour and enjoy, you can do quite a lot better. But if you want a bit more flavour and a bit more character and a bit more presence overall, definitely go for the coffee porter. So yeah, it's a six and a half out of ten from me. If you want to check out Camber Bavaria and this beer, links will be down below, as well as links to any of the beers that I do live reviews of, because obviously this will probably be uploaded like two months after it's been recorded. If you've tried this beer, let me know your thoughts and opinions. Um, if you like the Camber Bavaria brewery, let me know your favourite beers from them. Uh, to find out a bit more about the brewery, of course, links will be down below, as well as any reviews that I've done that are Camber Bavaria related. And of course, check out the Clueless Drinker playlist. So guys, thank you very much for watching. Cheers.